Hey guys, Jutter here. Now, I love enlisted events, okay? I think they are one of the better parts of the game. However, recently some of the events have been a little bit lacking. Now, I'm going to be, this whole video is going to be basically me talking about events and more or less, what, you know, what they've done well, you know, what they do well and more or less, you know, <clears throat> just what I think they should do to improve the events. Anyways, let's begin. Now, the f now when the events first came out, they started with the D-Day event, which was a very good event for for the time, and still is, one of the best events in the game. It was, essentially, it was a mad rush, don't get me wrong, it was, it was a bit in, bad in that sense, but the rewards were worth it. You got a, a gold order for weapons, which at that point you could only get two, that this was the this was the only other way you could get a gold order for weapons, and you got a unique soldier out of it, as well as some silver orders, and that was about it. And at the time, that was good. You know, it was you got silver orders, which weren't the easiest to come by at the time. You also got a gold order for weapons, which was very impossible. Like you only the only way you got it was through the battle pass at that time. And you got a unique soldier, which was a unique engineer at level 4 for the Americans. So overall, it was a very, very interesting event. Then you got Battle Summer, which came out almost immediately afterwards. And honestly, Battle Summer really changed the whole game for the events. And then it was quiet. There wasn't many events throughout, 2020, throughout 2021. It was actually just... All I remember was Enlisted's birthday and Fiery November. But then, the then came <clears throat> the event which was, um, I think it was um, Luna, was the one that really started changing the events. You see, I criticised Luna at the time for being very, very lacking. Basically because it really, all it did was, it gave you just some silver orders and... Then it gave you a unique poster if you did it for a long time. However, I said at the time that this was very lacking and that the poster wasn't worth it. And I got a bit of shit for it, saying, why are you complaining? And honestly, looking back, I can see both sides. I can see why people were a little bit mad at me for, you know, like saying, look, why are you complaining? It's free shit at the end of the day. Which, I admit, yeah, it was free shit at the end of the day. But... The reason was, and I still stand by my point, the reason was is that it was pretty much the end reward wasn't worth the justification. Like, I've, they definitely fixed this with later updates like VE Day and the Engineer Day events, which both had some pretty unique, up, you know, so for example, the unique hammers in Engineer Day and the um, Gold Order in the um, in VE Day, which... Obviously, you know, those are huge. But then you got stuff like the National Surrender Day and the um and this year's D Day event, which was which weren't that good. There was also Elba Day as well, which because they didn't really offer much outside of hey, here's the um you know, here's a bunch of um unique orders. Now it is cool that these guys are giving out unique orders, but Here's the problem with this. It's just that there was no big event. The reason why I think there was no big reward for doing the event. The reason why people loved Battle Summer. The reason why people liked VE Day. Why they liked Engineer. Even the Engineer update. Was because there was some unique up upgrade. You know, you got something unique at the end of the camp. At the end of it. It wasn't some, you know. It wasn't huge and game changing. Mostly. But it was still pretty powerful, and it was still useful. And it was something, at least, at the end of the day. Whereas with something like, you know, National Resistance Day, there wasn't really much. Now, I I will say, though, the fact that they're doing events more frequently is actually a, thing, a, a net positive for the game. I won't deny that. It is still a net positive for the game. However, there is one thing. It's just that most uh, most veteran players just don't bother with events because why bother with events? They're much more grind so focused towards newer players, which I'm not. I haven't got a problem with, but.
But the problem is that pe- but most veteran players are just ignoring the events because they're like, well, I've got all of this stuff. You know, I, there's no need for this. So, what? how can they improve these events in the near future? Well, the first thing I think they should do, and this one sounds a bit, you know, it's probably the most thing, is basically to do what Engineer Day and VE Day did. And that is to have some kind of big reward at the end. So, basically, give a reward, but make it so that, you know, anyone can get it, basically. But it requires, like, every task, or nearly every task done. That way, people are more incentivized to do the tasks and get the max reward. For example, you know, like the hammers. And so, I'm just going to use VE Day and... Not VE Day. Uh, National Resistance Day, or that. National Surrender Day, as I call it, and the other one, which was um, D-Day. How could they do this? Well, for National Surrender Day, I reckon they could have done it so that the final reward was either a, a, some unique French weapons, so like some unique um, skins for like the Sten, for example, in to use in Normandy, or, or, critically, give us a French squad, like, give us like some French like, pseudo premiums called like what they did with Fiery November or, um, or Battle Summer, you know, with the, um, PPK and the, um, Charlton Rifle Squads. Give it, give us that. That, that could be interesting. That could be really interesting to have, like, some French resistance with, um, suppressed stens, for example. I don't know. As for the, um, D-Day, give us, like, give us, like, a unique Rhino skin or for, like, for example, sh- the Stuart, give give back the Rhino skin for the Stuart for that event alone. Or give like a unique like a bulldozer Sherman or something skin for the um for the regular Sherman. You know, nothing big, just something. Or, you know, a gold order. You know, last last D-Day event had a gold order, so or the D Day event prior had a gold order. So yeah, that's how I think they should change it. They should keep Keep the, you know, weekly event. Keep it so it's like every two event, you know, every two, three weeks we get an event. But make the orders something. Like, give the orders, you know, give it so like there's a unique, something unique at the end of every event. There's a reason why people were so fond of the engineer event, why people grinded up the engineer event so much, was because, well, the hammers, you know, like... How many people have those hammers? Like, I've got them. You know, I know a lot of people who have those hammers. Because the event was... The event was easy, but it was also because the... You know, it was unique. It was something unique at the end of the day. Versus how many people actually grinded D-Day for its unique reward? How many people grinded Le Resistance or whatever for its rewards? Not many people, like... Mostly newer players did, but yeah, like I didn't really grind up those two events much, but I mean, that's just me. Anyways, I I don't really know what, what else to say. Like, I, I generally do, I generally want, I generally like the events at the moment. I prefer these events at the moment to, say, Steel Fortress or Sandstorm or whatever the, or the other shitty events that have been added recently, but... I will say that these events need, like, they need some kind of, like, last, like, big game, late, you know, late reward that you get for completing a majority of the event, or the entirety of the event, and you get some reward, nothing overpowered, nothing overpowered, don't, don't, I'm not saying asking for a humongous overpowered thing, but rather, just give us something, and give new, like, give, old veteran players a reason to do the events, because most vets just skip the events because we've already got everything. Newer players, though, I will say this is definitely more grinding towards newer players. The events are definitely more grinding towards newer players, which I don't see... I'm, I haven't got a problem with that, but, I mean, give some of the new, the older players something, at least. Anyways, I'm just going to end the video here. Like, there's not... I've, I've said my point. Not really much to say at, the, at this point. I think... I generally do like events, but I think they need to change up the events a little bit. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.